Now that we can select elements, let's inspect their details. Ever wonder why a button's grey or what data it's bound to? The property panel has the answer. Let's select a control. With our control selected, the properties panel lights up. Here we can see every Avalonia property of this control, its content, its colours, its sizes, everything along with its current values. If you need to find a specific property, you can just search for it by name. We can also sort alphabetically or group properties by category for clarity. Let's change the background of the welcome dialog. Notice that the control updates live. DevTools allows for on-the-fly edits and we have lots of options for tweaking values. This gives us a lot of creative freedom to explore ideas. Let's go ahead and tweak the corner radius to something silly. Okay, that looks terrible. Let's find a more interesting control to explore. Some properties hold complex objects like images or data context. For an image, DevTools can display a preview of the actual image. For data context, it will show the structure. Avalonia's styling system can apply multiple value to one property with different priorities, for example, local, style, theme. The styles tab shows us all of the layers of the property's value. See here, the base value sets the source to null, but our control template sets it to bitmap. This view is gold for debugging why our properties have certain values. You can immediately tell if it's a style or a trigger that's overriding the property value. If a property is data bound, the binding expression will reveal where the binding is coming from. Here we can see the property is bound to lock screen background dot clock time. If the binding had an error, we'd see the validation message and even the exception that caused it. It also lists converter info and fallback values if used. This makes tracking down broken bindings so much easier. No more silent failures. The properties panel is like a real-time inspector and editor for your controls. You can fine-tune your UI live, see all of the style influences, and debug data bindings all in one place. Give it a spin. Select a control in your app with DevTools and play with its properties. I'll see you in the next video.